All right, this next one shows you how to plot latitude longitude point into your chart and then determine a uh, bearing from it. So this is going to be chapter four homework, question number 3A. And this says, using the plotting sheet of Appendix E, which is this, plot a new point G, which is not printed on the chart, at latitude 26.032 and longitude 75.028 and determine the bearing and distance from that new point G to A. So we're going to start out, we want to plot latitude 2603.2. So here is 2601, 02, 03.2. And we want to take our parallel rules and project that line over. We want to take the longitude 7502.8, 7501, 02.8. Here's the point 8. And I have to take, again, my parallel rules, parallel to this left scale. O2.8. Draw my mark there. Where those two lines intersect is my point G. And then the question goes on to say, determine the bearing and distance from G to A. So I'm going to take that point G and draw a line from it to A. And I'm going to walk my parallel rules over to the compass rows and find that that point is um, looks like 321. Yes, 321 true is the bearing from G to A. The next question is what is the distance from G to A? And for that I'll take my dividers Put the point at G and extend the dividers out. Well, it won't reach A. My dividers are not large enough to reach from G to A, so therefore I have to use a different procedure. I'm going to start out and set the dividers at some shorter distance, let's say 5. So what I've done is I put my point here at 2600, adjusted the point until it goes through the 5. So this now represents 5 minutes of latitude. I'm going to put the point on G, draw an arc. Now I know that this represents 5. I'm now going to take my dividers and put the point on that mark and adjust these until it goes through point A and measure the additional distance. So that's 1, 2, 3, 0 0.05 plus 5 is 8.05 nautical miles.